Hi. Our topic is about describing the location of genes in the chromosomes. Let's begin. Let us first discuss about the deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. It is considered as the molecular blueprint of life. It contains a vast amount of information that controls the cell's internal functions and dictates the organism's physical characteristics. The genetic information contained in the DNA is also hereditary and transferable that can be accurately passed on from one generation to the next. During the process of cell division, DNA is compacted and packaged into structures called chromosomes. This short and condensed form of DNA makes it easier to arrange and transport within the cell. To successfully pack the genetic material into a chromosome, certain proteins help on folding up the DNA into condensed structures. DNA double helixes first attached to protein structures called histones. These proteins can bind tightly to DNA. Histones will then group together, forming nucleosomes, where DNA wound around twice. These nucleosomes will be connected to each other by the linker DNA. This structure looks like beads on a string. Nucleosome will then coil with each other, forming a fiber. This fiber will further coil or fold around a protein scaffold to form a chromatin. Then, the chromatin will continue to coil itself until it forms a chromosome. Now that we understand how DNA is packaged into a chromosome, let's discuss about genes. A gene is the basic and functional unit of heredity. Genes are responsible for transmitting traits from parents to offsprings. There are about 20,000 to 25,000 genes in a human body. We received half of our genes from our mother and the half from our father. Gene is actually a segment of the DNA with specific nucleotide bases sequence that encodes the genetic information needed for production of proteins. These proteins affect cell functions and characteristics. Genes can be composed of hundreds to thousands of nucleotides. Genes are organized in a linear and specific order along the length of the DNA strand. This means that a gene controlling a specific hereditary trait can be located in a particular region of the DNA. Because genes occupy a specific place, Along the DNA strand, they can also be located on a specific location on the chromosome. This is possible because of the systematic packaging mechanism of the cell to condense DNA into a chromosome. The specific location occupied by each gene in a chromosome is called the locus, plural, loci. Remember that a gene is the actual unit of heredity that dictates the organism's specific traits, like flower color and seed shape. Specific locus on the chromosome determines specific traits. Chromosomes are the actual structure that separate and segregate during meiosis division. They carry genes along the process. This gives way for traits to be transferred, segregated, assorted, and inherited. In summary, here are the locations of the genes and chromosomes. In summary, genes are the actual functioning unit of heredity. Genes are arranged in a linear manner in the DNA occupying specific location along the strand. The systematic packaging of DNA make it possible for particular genes to be located on each chromosome.
The location of a gene on a chromosome is called a locus. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.